Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. We are now happy to be joined by Robert Goforth. He's a Republican that's in the Kentucky State Legislature, and he's decided to run in the primary against Governor Matt Bevin for 2019. Representative Goforth, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me, Matt. So it's very rare for a sitting representative to challenge a member of his own party that's an incumbent for the governor's seat. What made you decide to do it? Well, that's what I've heard, and why I'm doing it is I've traveled all over Kentucky talking to Kentuckians and they tell me they want to change. They want to change, they want something different than what they have right now. People feel like currently we have a corporate first agenda that only focuses on breaks for white collar corporate first uh, CEO elitist. Mm -hmm. And they tell me they want someone that will focus on all Kentuckians and not forget about those working hard in the break room to make sure that some of the breaks go to the people in the break room, not just the boardroom. So That's do you, so, so what, give me some examples of some policies maybe that, that you see Bevan doing that you would be against and that you would have done it differently. Well, the attack on public education for one. Uh, you know, I don't think we need to be taking money out of our public schools and our local school districts and trying to funnel them to for-profit charter schools. I would agree with you on that. Okay. Do you have you gotten pushback from folks in your party for, for challenging Matt Bevan? I mean, is in uh, theory the leader of the Republican Party right now? Well, he is the governor right now. <laughs> you can see. I mean, he's had a hard time dealing with the legislature. Uh, he's been working for the past several years. He's been our governor. We've still yet to have any meaningful pension reform, but. Whenever I announced on Tuesday, if anybody listened to my speech, what I say? I said, I'm going to bring Democrats and Republicans together. I'm going to bring all the stakeholders to the table, the teachers, firefighters, state and, and uh, county employees. And last week, there was a bipartisan pension advisory committee formed. Which was a really good step. Do, do, yeah. I mean, do you think that that was a mistake? I mean, I, in the last session to do that bill the way it was done. The courts ended up striking it down. But do you think it was just a mistake? I think it was a huge mistake. I think you have to bring everybody to the table to work together. Once we're elected, you have to put that Democrat or Republican to the side because now you represent everybody of your district and you represent the entire state. You had some harsh words. As a matter of fact, there's an ad out there by a pack that uses our commentary, <laughs> but you called uh, Matt, Bing, Matt Bevan a New Englander who had come here to sort of uh, put his agenda on Kentucky. You, you regret that at all? Oh, no, I think it's the truth, though. I mean, he, he's a New Englander molded by Wall Street, and I'm molded by Kentucky and Main Street, and there's some clear difference people can pick. Well, let's talk about a couple of, uh, of the things you've done. You have a bill right now before the Kentucky legislature that would essentially take away almost all restrictions on the right to carry for people with a license uh, to conceal carry weapons everywhere outside of a couple of places. But it would allow, from what I understand, schools, daycares, campuses, and private businesses. Am I right about that? Well, not about private businesses, uh, okay. but public places. So and I own a restaurant right yeah, now. You should yeah. come visit. Yeah. Would you require me to allow people to carry guns into my restaurant? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. What, what it does, it levels the playing field. Right now, there's certain individuals, take for instance politicians, that can carry a firearm with a concealed carry permit or not. They can carry a firearm and they are exempted from all of these gun-free zone ex uh, exemptions, uh, gun-free zone places, mm -hmm. they're exempt from it. Well, let's talk about yeah. a couple though. Okay. So you're saying the general public should be able to? The general public should be, my life is no imp more important than your life That's and it. you should be able to defend yourself just like I should be able to defend myself. But that would also include allowing members of the general public mm -hmm. to bring guns to schools, to daycares, mm -hmm. to campuses. They already can. Well, they can if they have a weapon, but schools can also search for them and not allow them in. Well, they, they, they can, but they... Would you allow schools to still not allow people to bring them in? 
Here, here's the thing, what we need to find out, I need to know as far as the Constitution, did the General Assembly in the 90s overstep their bounds whenever they said uh, that they can enact legislation against open carry because the Constitution reads that you're allowed to defend yourself and others uh, in so the So for state. you, for yeah. you personally, if I were to be able, to, if I were to walk into a daycare or a, a school to pick somebody up or something like that, should I be able to take a gun into a school? Well, what I'm just for you, right? What I'm trying to make sure if an individual has the ability, they're trained because right now we don't have those but training. Would you standards allow them those. to do that? Would in your in under your bill, would you allow me to walk into a school with a gun? Th those if are, I'm trained, those are some of the public places that are included. Okay, what about stadiums? Would you want Kroger Field for people to be able? to have guns? What I want to make sure is the public is protected wherever they're at in a public place. So yes. I want to make sure that people are protected in a public place wherever they're at, man. Okay. That's, that's the whole meaning behind the bill. Wyoming just uh, put the bill on uh, in their session. They just filed the piece of legislation. They have 30 co-sponsors on it right now. And yeah, they also don't have as many people go to their games either. They, they might not. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you a couple other uh, yeah, sure. issues real quick. You, you, the tax, you yeah. talk about being for uh, average person yeah. over uh, the wealthy Kentucky, but I believe you voted for the tax reform bill and no. that lowered taxes for the wealthiest no, Kentucky. I didn't vote for the bill. I did override the the first piece of legislation that the governor had vetoed and there's a specific reason for that because if we didn't override the 366 i believe it was and there was one passed after that that mm -hmm. that i voted no so you on. voted against the tax decrease i, I, I did okay. I, okay I i voted against the tax because here here's the thing if we wouldn't have overrode that veto we wouldn't have had a balanced budget and then he would have had controlling authority of all spending until no, we No, that makes sense. With, yeah. I, I know what you're talking yeah. about there, but you didn't yeah. vote for the tax. I did not. Okay. No. Let me say, there's a lot of folks that watch here that are yeah. Republicans who probably are frustrated with Bevin. If you yeah. were to say to them, you can talk to me, but if yeah. you were to say to them, why pick you over Governor Bevin, what's the reason? Well, I think people want somebody who's willing to listen to them instead of lecture. Somebody who's going to lead that's more about we instead of me. That's what they want, and that's what we're going to give them a people first agenda. If he, if he would have listened uh, from the beginning, maybe we would have had a, a pension bill in place to fix the things that are wrong with the pension system, but there's things that could have been fixed already, just like the management fees, different things, the false... Uh, the impending doom scare tactic about the credit rating agency, how they were going to negatively uh, rate Kentucky because of the pension bill, they came out and they said that that was false. The, their ratings are based on the state budget, not a pension bill. So which one is it? He's instilling fear and chaos into people to divide us and create a hostile environment to try to get what he wants. All right, well, I always ask every candidate that comes, we would like to host a primary debate. I'm not sure yeah. if the governor will show up, but we're going to invite him. Would you come? Yeah, I'll be there. All right, see, yeah. I like that. All right, thank you very much. Oh, thank Go you, for brother. It. Good luck to yeah, you. Thank you.